Shalom. It's Pesach from Sfat again. Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. We're doing a little series or a big series on how to be a Noahide. This is part two. You know, we are uh, um, trying to get something out to the people that now is the time for it to come out. Because God, the creator of all of us, our God, the creator of all, he's in charge. Not me, not you, not anybody else, not any pope or imam or anybody's in charge. He's in charge. And he created us all. Since he's our creator, we're all his children. And he loves us. He's not a vengeful God. Now, a lot of people are leaving different religions and trying to understand where to go. Well, there's only one place to go, and that's in Ezekiel, that's in Zechariah 8.23. It says, 10 men from all the nations will grab the hem, the skirt of a Jewish man and say, we want to go with you because you know who God is. It's true. We've met him in person. Our family met him in person 3,300 years ago. Almost 3 million people all together, men, women, children, warriors, everybody. In the written account that he wrote has come down through the ages. And the oral account that he gave to Moses and he gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has come down through the ages, untarnished, unchanged for the whole world. What's the whole key to this whole thing? He asked us to teach the world how to live. That's it. It's no big deal. He is God. He's the creator. And he loves us. And he wants to live here among us on earth. Now, what does that mean? That means his holy temple, the Bet HaMikdash, is where his presence dwells inside the Holy of Holies. Before the third temple can be built, before that time comes when he's here with us, among us, we must do what we have to do. And what do we have to do? We have to make the world a place that deserves his presence to be here. We have to make him acceptable. We have to tell him, yes, we want you here. Now, we don't have to do it alone. He's given us some help. He's given us quite a few millennia to try to get it straight first. But he's promised us a Messiah, a Messiah that sits on the throne of David, an ancestor of David's, who we will know he's an ancestor of David, who will do certain things so we know he, he's the Messiah. Not wonders and miracles, certain things right here on earth. Peace on earth, build a third temple, show us how to live according to the way Hashem, our Father, God, wants us to live, each and every one of us. It's not a big puzzle. You know, when he created us, he knew one thing. He knows us. Nothing we do surprises him. And he knows there's some of us that are more spiritual than others. Some of us are more religious, in quotes, than others. Everything's taken into account. What he wants from everybody, everybody that wants to be a part of this whole plan of his is to do something very simple. Acknowledge him with no one else in your mind or heart. He's the king of all kings. He's our father. He wants our total love. He doesn't want it sidelined by saints and by people that we call the Messiah or anything else. He asks for our direct love. That's the first thing he asks for. And he asks that we not shame him in any way. If we're going to claim to be part of his family, then we have to act like it. Everything we think and do has to, well, will Father get upset at me if I do this? I mean, we all did this when we were kids, didn't we? You went to school and you wanted to do something. You said, well, oh, my dad's going to get upset at me if I violate this or don't do this right or don't honor my teachers. Or, you know, so the first step, the very first step on this journey is simply remembering that you are created by Hashem and he has given you a way to repent. He's given you a way to have salvation and redemption. You know, only our bodies 
are temporal. Only our bodies are created with a clock ticking in them. Inside of our bodies is a soul. It has different names for different parts of it. It's called the nefesh. It's the part that regulates and controls our body. But with it come emotions. The emotions are part of the animal soul. They, many of us, we allow our heart and our emotions to come out of our hearts to get us angry, to get us jealous, to do all kinds of things. But inside this soul, there's a part of you that is a part of God. He gave it to you. It's a gift that you have in you. And the whole big deal that we have to do is connect with that part of, that is inside the animal soul, which means what we think, I think this, I don't like this, I like that, all that stuff we have to say, wait a minute, that's part of the ego, which is part of the animal soul. What I have to do is, what does Hashem want? What does God want? What does he think about what I'm doing? And it's not talking about, I don't like asparagus or lima beans, or I like chocolate cake instead of uh, rum cake or something like that. That's not what it's talking about. It's how we walk through our lives every day. I wear black, you wear purple, somebody else wears green. So what? It's no big deal. But what he wants us to do is wear the clothes in a modest way. This is just an example. Getting on the right path. And believe you me, there's, you don't have to learn a whole bot, lot to start this. Most of you out there living your everyday lives only have to stop one thing. You only have to stop going and worshiping false gods, false messiahs, false whatever. You just have to turn your attention to your father, the one who created you. And there's nobody between you and him. It's a direct connection. Once you turn there, you can go back your life as normal. Get up, go to work, eat the food you want, dress in a, in a modest way, of course, any way you want. Treat people nicely, help out the poor, help out the widow, help out the orphan. You all do that anyway. Everything I'm mentioning, you do anyway. So what is the big deal about having this key? to be a part of God's kingdom. It's simply acknowledging him as king of the, his kingdom. That's it. There's nothing else. Once you do that, of course, there's things that you want to learn. There's things that, but there's no other requirements. He doesn't say you have to do this and you have to do that. And you have to get up at this time in the morning and you have to do this and the other thing and woo, wee, woo. He doesn't say that to you. To 99.9% .9 of the world, he simply says, be a good person. And I'm your father. I'm your king. Don't give allegiance to anybody else. And you know, amazing things happen when you do that. You learn how to not be jealous. You learn how to not hate. You learn how to get along with people. You know how to not take things personal. And we're going to teach all of that. But very first thing, there, you have to have a want for this. And it's not something you have to be convinced of. You have to actually want the truth and not argue it and not talk about it, but think it through and meditate on it. And we're going to take you on a wonderful journey. And anybody, anybody that wants to keep on the journey with us, please do. We don't charge. We just want to get the word out there to you. If somebody feels like helping us out with expenses, fine. But the main thing is you, you listening to me right now, need this help. And why do you need this help? Because I need this help. And the world needs this help. Because until his five books of Moses, the Torah, it's called the book of instruction. Everybody has a part to play in it until everybody's playing their part. We got no Messiah. So it's, Everybody doing their part. And there is a part for someone who is not a Jew and you don't have to convert. All your father asks of you is to be a decent person. Now, everybody says, oh, I'm a decent person. Part of his requirements for a decent person is you only have one king to pray to, 
one person to call father. There is nobody else. That's where you have to direct your attention. We're going to talk more about that. And we're going to talk about you and your salvation and your redemption on the next video. Thanks for watching. You can get a hold of me through TorahForTheNations.org. There's a form there. Fill it out. Send it to me. I'll get back to you. Or look for Pesach Sherbo on Facebook. Friend me. Send me a message. We'll talk. If you want one-on-one -on -one talks, get a hold of me. If you got some questions, you want to spend an hour or so just talking about things, please get a hold of me. That's what we're here for. We're here to help bring the Messiah, help bring peace on earth, and help get us to the next level of life, which is not this one. It's the next one up, and everybody knows that. The Hitra Ot. See you later. And blessings to everyone.